In a recent study, we explored how previous learning of foreign languages affects the neural learning of new words, uh, either of native or non-native phonology. We used electroencephalography (EEG) that measures uh, the weak brain signals with electrodes placed on the scalp. And with this method, we can get temporarily very accurate information about what's going on in the brain, how the brain reacts to different kinds of stimuli. And um, so we are comparing responses of the brain potentials. So in this study, we exposed our young adult participants to different kinds of new words, either with native or non-native phonology. It was a session that they listened to these words passively and each word was repeated for 150 times. So we know already that this kind of repetitive exposure to new words uh, enhances the brain potential uh, during the exposure, which we think that uh, represents the neural memory trace buildup that is word learning in the brain. <laughs> So what we found in this study was that our participants who had learned multiple languages, the more languages they had learned and the earlier they had started learning them, neural enhancement for the novel non-native words was larger. <laughs> So this suggests that uh, previous language learning actually enhances uh, our brain's capacity to receive new words of a yet another new language. In the future it would be interesting to know how, for example, the proficiency level of these learned languages affects the uh, efficiency of the brain to learn new words.